Hey, how's it going? My name is Ridwan Olo. For this week on UT Mental, we'll be speaking about stigma and resilience. <coughs> when we think about stigma or when we talk about tackling stigma, there's a couple things that should come to mind. Number one, it starts off by educating ourselves. Next, by educating ourselves, we'll be able to empathize and lastly, we'll be able to put forward a conscious effort to deconstruct the existing narrative. By educating ourselves, we're looking in the mirror and we're dispelling any negative associations, connotations that we have attached to mental health and mental illness. I want to leave you all with a quote. Individuals dealing with mental illness are normal people leading productive lives. By understanding that, we'll be able to empathize. We'd be able to understand and try to put ourselves in other suits. When we put forward a conscious effort, we can do that on various levels. We need to challenge the old age ideology and mindset and be a part of positive initiatives. Um, have necessary conversations surrounding mental health. Initiate these conversations and just put it forward a conscious effort, whether it's reacting positively, um, being a peer, a friend, showing companionship when it's necessary. Um, challenging individuals who think it's okay to treat individual certain people in a negative way uh, because of what they're going through. Um, when we speak about resilience, which is the next component or second part of the video, I, I want to start off by saying that resilience is not something that's like inherent. It's not something we're born with. It's something we all can develop and we can all learn. And I speak about resilience on three different levels. The first level is the strength that it takes to come forward and seek help. When we think about stigma and we go back to stigma, a lot of people find it difficult to reach out. I feel as though we failed as a society, as a community, as peers, as friends, as family members, because we haven't given individuals a platform or the right support where they feel that if they come forward, they're not going to be judged or they're not going to be subjected to negative experiences, right? Um, so first thing I want to do is just apologize to anybody who feels that way and just let you know that there are resources available. There's people who are care who care about you. There's individuals who want to help and just the gist of it that you're not alone, even though it may seem like that. The next part is optimism. Going back to the last part of speaking about stigma, I spoke about how we need to put forward a conscious effort. To be optimistic and positive, especially through adversity and negative times, it's not easy. It's something that takes a conscious effort. It's something that you have to do like consistently. You have to monitor your thoughts, um, your feelings, and you have to try to have a positive outlook on certain situations. Not saying that you're not human and you can't experience certain things. Everybody has a right to emotion. Everybody has a right to feel sadness. Everybody has a right to to deal with um, emotions and uh, feel the way you want to feel. But at the same time, it's good to have a positive outlook on certain things, you know? Um, and lastly is change. Change is not always a negative thing. When we think about, for example, somebody who broke their arm or even somebody who has a hangover or a headache or whatever it is, they have to change their environment or something to a certain extent to, to deal with or to basically tackle what they have, you know? Um, it, this could be anything, for example, like if you're dealing with anxiety or depression or whatever it is, right? So I, I just, I feel like I rambled a lot in this video. I'm not sure if I really had directions, but when I speak about stigma, the, the three steps that I was trying to put forward and try to explain to people was that we need to educate ourselves, we need to empathize, and lastly, we need to put forward a conscious effort. And when I speak about resilience, I thought about three things, like the strength that it takes individuals to come forward, the optimism it, it takes to just lead a healthy life and have like a better well-being and a better lifestyle. And lastly, the fact that change is not a negative thing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I just want to wish you the best. And I'm very happy to be a part of an initiative such as UT Mental. I wasn't able to participate for the past two weeks because of my own personal issues and I apologize, but I hope you have, all have an amazing